Now this client has got some fairly large redwoods around their property. If you look way off to the right there, there's a redwood tree that's got a good canopy full of foliage, the, the appropriate color. And this next one right in the middle here is starting to decline. As we move left, you can see this one had the top break out way up here and the upper canopy is not looking good at all. The next one is a little better. This one over here is, is looking quite poorly. And if you look at it from the base, you can see that there's uh, quite a bit of asphalt that is covering up at least two-thirds of this tree's root system. Even the asphalt that's off in the distance there, that should be uh, where the absorbing roots are, or, or could be. Then you've got the house, you've got the footprint of the foundation. So this tree is really struggling here to obtain enough moisture from a, a very hostile environment. Now when we look up at the tree, you can see that it's really in a state of decline. I believe this tree is going to go downhill, or the worst case scenario would be it'll develop some decay and um, the tree could possibly come down. When I see a tree that's showing signs of a problem up in the upper canopy, I always look at the base. I always look at the roots and I look for any potential areas of, uh, of impact. Here we can see that uh, there was some sort of trenching that went on. I don't know what happened, but I can guess that maybe something was cut here. Uh, it looks like a fairly old home, so uh, were the trees here first? Uh, did the trees adapt to this environment? Uh, that's a good call. But something's going on with this particular tree. Now when I look around the base of the tree, um, I, I don't see anything that really scares me, but it, it's very, very hard to determine um, from a redwood tree if there's something going on underground. You know, there's some areas that look like there's a little bit of, of drying out. If there's root rot on a redwood tree, then you've got a destabilization that could be happening. But how do you determine if there's root rot? You can't uh, take the soil away. All you can do is make an educated guess. Uh, a lot of people are doing uh, increment bores and, and resistograph, and there's, a, another, there's another thing called a, a tam tomograph that will tell you if there is decay on the inside of this tree and I think this tree is going to go downhill but um, it's got so many marks against it I, I think it should be considered for removal and then sometimes there are trees that come up or are planted in just the wrong spot You've got a little redwood tree right here that's barely got a foothold on life and how long before it starts impacting the building it's a good healthy tree so it's going to grow vigorously. Sometimes the wise decision is the one that's taken care of before it becomes a problem. This would be very difficult to cut away part of the building to make room for this tree. And you have another redwood right next to it. So um, this particular tree is competing with both the oak and the adjacent redwood so a good common sense decision would be to remove it. The location just it makes it a slam dunk decision. And if you look at the trees from a distance, you can see the tree on the right is a fairly healthy specimen of a redwood. This one that I was talking about on the left here is going downhill. It's only got about 20% of the foliage that it should have. And then the one that's off in the distance that one's looking fairly sparse and it's got a problem as well. Redwoods, right place, right planting location, and it's important to look up. You can see there's some power lines right here, and the power company is going to constantly come through and cut away to make clearance. That just adds more insult to injury, and they usually don't do a very good job. They cut everything away as far as they have to so they don't have to come back. And in this case, they cut out a lot of the branches on the left-hand side. 